Hey guys, Big Flip here. This is um, part two of a video I did yesterday in reference to what is the U.S. Mint doing. And um, this has to do with the subscription, um, uh, the subscription part of U.S. Mint and how you can subscribe for something and then um, it'll automatically be sent to you. All right, first of all, yes, I made a critical error by having too many subscriptions in my um, wallet at the Mint. But if you note what it said, originally it said three, and then it said five, and then it said 25, max. Okay, and they went from 250 to 400,000 minted. Okay, when they went to 400,000 minted, that is where things changed for a lot of people. Um, at a 250,000 mintage, um, I was all in, but at a 400,000 mintage, it makes a huge difference. So, long story short, these keep coming in here to the Big Flip channel. These came in yesterday, these came in previous days, and these came in today. They keep coming. I've got a handle on it now. I'm still waiting on 10 more, but here's what is going down. So, I called the U.S. Mint and I said, what's going on? Um, I need to know... Um, when it's going to stop for one and for two, what can I send back? Um, without digging through them and going through them, I probably only want the original 25 of each, but I ended up with, I don't know, like 40 of each or some crazy number. So she said to me, really nice lady on the other side. Um, and she said to me, well, let me look at your account. She looked at my account and she says, the only thing that we can do is um, something about a 2% or I brought up the 2% and she says, no, that's that's not true. We don't always accept returns. And I said, so tell me what I need to do besides sell these um, to somebody. Can I get them back to you? And she says, let's look at your account. So she did. And she said, certain number of them were shipped on the 10th. And you have seven days, so you have until the 17th. But it's from when they arrive at your house. So they shipped on the 10th. They got to my house on the 14th. Today's the 17th. I still have four more days. We went down the road of every single one of the invoices, which I've created um, a paper trail in a book of all the invoices, credit cards um, that was charged, and all that. So... It's not that I, it's not about the credit card and the credit and the money. It's about how this happened. And 100%, it's probably all my fault. But when the U.S. Mint says max 25 per household and you get your 25 and you're accepting that you'll get your 25, but you have more in your subscription tab, if they don't sell out, they keep them coming. So that's where the problem came in, is they didn't sell out. So after the 24-hour period, they just kept mailing them for every single subscription you had in there. And I originally had a 3, and then I originally had a 5, and then I had a 20, or a 10, I mean, and then I had a 25. But then I backed out of the 25, and I backed out of the 5 and the 3 on, the, on about 4 days previous. But they said 5 days. Okay. We'll get beyond that. She says, yes, you can send them back to us. Let's make sure that they're all within the seven days of you receiving them. And I said, for sure they are. So after literally a 45-minute phone call, she says, okay, well, you still have some coming. Get them all together. Put all of them in one box. Ship them all back. Put all the packing slip invoices in the box and ship them flat rate back to us. And then when we get them, keep your tracking number to follow. Okay, so I get that. So now I have a remedy to my problem at hand. That's not a problem. By the way, a few people have got in contact with me saying that they want some of these. So I'm letting them go for the price of what I'm getting credit at at the U.S. Mint. So if you're all interested, you can get in touch with me at BigFlipCoins at Yahoo.com. If you pay the shipping... I will I will put one in the mail for you. If you are a patron, I, if you are a, a person that goes to my auctions 
and comes in on Friday and Saturday night at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and you are carrying a wallet and you want one of these at the mint price of $80, I am more than willing to invoice you and drop it in your bag. If you are outside of the wallet program on my um, auction side of my channel, then it's going to be $5 ship and $80. So it's very fair, but you will get them. Um, these have to go out by, they have to be postmarked by Saturday. So if you don't get in touch with me by Saturday the 19th, they're gone. They're going to be out of here. And I will have made my decision on what I'm keeping. But this I promise you, I'm not going to hunt these. If you want one, I will just grab one, look at it, make sure that it's good. Um, to the best of my ability, I'm not a grader. And then I will I will send that one to you. If you want multiple, I'll do the same thing. But if you get up into flat rate, it's going to be $10. Okay, so another thing I have going on with the U.S. Mint. Let's grab five of these and let's shake them. Nothing there. Let's grab five of these and shake them. You hear that? Now look, here's the the fourth Morgan. So there's five Morgans, and here's five piece. Listen, these are fresh. These are fresh out of the uh, out of the mailbox. Listen, all five of those are. Um, Outside of the box. Listen, these are the Morgans. Nothing. More Morgans. Nothing. More Morgans. Nothing. So let's look at this. Let's get this nightmare of a box out of here. And let's look at these. That came in today. I haven't even opened them. I don't know what's going on with them. Matter of fact, let me grab some gloves real quick. And we, we got a couple more minutes on this video. So be patient and we'll get it handled. Um, I just don't want to open them up and touch the capsules if I can prevent it. Right? Okay. These are nitro gloves. These are Venom. I get them at Lowe's and Home Depot. They are a two-ply. And they are awesome. Okay. So we'll bust the piece out. Look, it's just laying in there sideways. Another thing we got going on with the piece is listen. Ooh. This one's not rattling. So I'm going to do a little thumbnail. All right. That one was a rattler. I mean, that one was loose in the box. Now, obviously, they're all going to be loose because if you're hearing them rattle. Oh, it might have just been the one. No, here's two more. Let's look at them. That one's loose. So three out of the five of the piece dollars were loose in there, which is kind of sketchy. But these capsules are tight. I haven't found the tight capsules on all of them, so I'm going to look at them. But if it, if you at all want one of these, let me know. $5 shipping, and then that prevents them from going back to the mint and being dispersed back out. And I just, I, I just kind of think, wow, that's kind of a bummer for the person that gets them dispatched back out. But, of course, not everybody's going to take care of them like I would take care of them. There's those five. All right. In reference to the comments, there's some comments um, on the previous video. If you haven't looked at the video, go over and check um, video number one of this two-part series in reference to the Morgan and the Peace Dollars. And there's some there's some um, comments over there where, hey, it's your fault. It's self-inflicted. Um, you've you've got you basically got burned. You tried to step. Um, you tried to, you know, scam the mint and you got caught and that's why you have them all. Hey, I get it. I'm going to let every single comment stick. As long as you're not using profanities or being a total complete jerk, 
Matter of fact, I pinned a couple. I pinned one and then changed it after that to another one because the other one that was going being abrasive was um, better. So I pinned that one. It is what it is. Everybody has their opinion on what's going on here. I'm just telling you what's going on. So um, I hope this video helps you out with what exactly you can do if you go down the road and you end up with too many of your subscriptions. Now, I have since fixed all my subscriptions. Um, here's one, one more thing. We have the reverse proofs coming out. The reverse proofs are sold out, meaning all the subscriptions are, you can't have any more subscriptions. But here's one of the deals. If you had originally had the five in your subscription count from the U.S. Mint, don't change that because if you change it, they're going to drop you down to one because now there's only one per household. But if you got in before a certain date, you could have five. If you got in after that date, you could only have one. So if you change it, if you go in there and say, hey, you know, I'm just going to mop stuff up, move stuff up. Maybe I only want four. If you change it, you're only going to get one. I'm just letting you know, it's either five. It's either the original number or one. So don't change it unless you want one. So if you're thinking, I don't have the money for five or I don't have the money for four. If you think you've got four in your cart and you want to get three, if you zero off that number and go to three, you're back to one and it will not change. She said, do not change your number. So I was very fortunate that it's coming back around to me that I do have reverse proof on other accounts, um, which my son has them and my wife, they both have them. So um, it's working out in the long run. It's just, we had to figure out how to remedy the situation at hand without selling them. I don't, I don't have a problem with selling them. And I don't have a problem with selling them at the $80 plus $5 ship to anybody who wants them. I'll do the work and I'll, I'll do it piece by piece by piece by piece. I don't care. If I do it 60 times, I don't care or whatever the number is. But I just wanted to find a way out of doing it. And somebody said, well, you're going to be in it for 20 or 30% by the time they send you your money back. Well, that's not true. I pay my credit card off um, every month. So I'm not paying that percentage. And um, it's just a matter of, I don't need that many. So I hope this video helped you out. Um, and make sure you like and subscribe for more up and coming videos. I will be doing more. Look for some shorts out there um, where I, you know, I explain stuff or show you stuff. Uh, it's, I'm not going to chase the regular run of the mill, show you a certain coin or well, long story short, it won't be just regular shorts with explanations. It's just going to be showing you the beauty of coins. So until I see you again, um, do something nice for somebody, pay it forward every chance you get. Let's be good people and I'll see you on the next one. Please take care. Like and subscribe if you get a chance. Have a great day. Peace out.